The Story of Josanna by Eric Hua Chapter 11 The War A few short moments after following the mother bear, Josanna saw the light at the end of the tunnel. She thanked the kind guardian of the cave for leading her out and the mother bear accepted her gratitude before returning back to her cub. Now that she was out of the cave, Josanna was about to refocus on reaching Wetanwa, but before she was able to start walking, she was startled by someone's voice. Not bad. You passed the trial of the caves with flying colors. Oh, it's just you again. Don't you have better things to do than creep up on people? The man just laughed off her comment without replying any further. So what do you want with me this time? Are you planning to give me another cryptic message and disappear again? Perhaps, but there is an urgent matter I wish to discuss with you. Sounds good, old man. Let's hear it. The man wasn't too impressed with what she said so she told her to call him by the name of Rice instead. Tell me, are you seriously going through with your plan? Not certain if she heard correctly she asked Rice to elaborate on what he was talking about. He cleared his throat and spoke slower, asking her if she was planning to enter Watanwa and steal King Waswa's prized possession, his sword. How did you know? Let's just say I have connections. As he said that, he pointed up in the air where birds were flying around. So what if I am? Are you going to stop me? How are you planning to accomplish your mission? Don't tell me you seriously think you can just sneak into Watanwa and somehow steal the sword from underneath the king's nose. Actually, yeah, that is my plan. Rice slapped his head with his palm in reaction to her idea. What? How hard could it be? The king is probably overweight, lazy, and can barely carry a weapon anymore. When Rice heard her response, he couldn't help but shake his head and laugh. What's so funny? You have much to learn. Regardless, Watamwa isn't much further from here. Continue on this path and you should reach your destination shortly. Josanna was caught off guard, she wasn't expecting him to let her go so easily after how he started the conversation. She was about to press forward but she had something on her mind she couldn't ignore. Before I go I do have one question. Why are the people of Clarion and Watanwa fighting one another? You might not have known this, but at one point both Watanwa and Clarion were united as one nation. What? Yes, in fact neither Watanwa or Clarion existed 15 years ago. United under one nation and led by King Waswa and Queen Clarion, the people of Agnilo prospered together regardless of their skin color. Until that dreadful day. Rice stopped talking for a moment and moved closer to Josanna. Tell me, who are you? Josanna was confused as to why Rice was trying to change the subject but she played along. I'm Josanna born from Haven. Why are you asking me? You already know. Yeah, so you still haven't figured it out. He began to turn his back and walk away. However, Josanna was not satisfied with his answer. Oh no! You ain't disappearing on me this time without giving me some answers. She chased after him reaching out to grab him on the shoulder. But within a blink of an eye, he vanished from sight and appeared behind Josanna. How did you... She was so shocked she couldn't even finish her sentence. You still have much to learn. Suddenly Josanna was speechless as she had been humbled. If she couldn't keep up with this man, how could she overcome the army waiting for her in Wetanwa as she looked down in defeat? A little raccoon walked up to her which brought her spirits up. She then looked up at Rice and listened. This little friend will show you a hidden passage that will allow you entry into the city of Watanwa and bypass King Waswa's guards. After that, you might have a chance to claim his prized sword before he even notices. Josella quickly got back on her feet and wiped away the look of defeat. She saw Rice about to leave but again she chased after him and shouted, Wait! Thank you. Josella couldn't see it, but Rice cracked a smile on his face. Don't thank me just yet. You still have a tough journey ahead. With Rice gone, Josanna looks at the little raccoon he left behind for her. She bent down so she could get closer to its level. All right, buddy, it's just you and me. Show me how to get to Watanwa. 
The raccoon immediately leads the way and Josanna follows closely behind.